Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and let's play some more Super Mario 3. So, when we last left off, uh, we were doing this level. Oh! Yeah, I forgot about that. Sheesh. Yeah, so uh, we began the big land. Big world, giant land, giant world, whatever you want to call it, it's still going to be the same thing. Um, and I don't like this level. I do remember that much, at least. I remember, let's see, what was I doing in the last one that I, because I think I died when I was trying to find something last time. My, uh, my memory runs thin when I'm doing these things every once in a while. <laughs> that was kind of a cool move. Alright, maybe I will find it and maybe I will not. With the one uh, applying probably being the latter because... I never remember what I'm doing. Okay, let's get a free extra life here, providing that I don't die. Excellent. Oh, see, it's right there. I always... That's that's where it was. I really, really hope I can do this. Uh, nope, that's just not going to happen. Oh, okay, yep, yep, definitely not going to happen. Okay, so if there is anything up there, we're not going to figure out what it is. We're just not. Wow. Oh. oh, yeah, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh... How's everybody doing? I was always just wondering. I'm really getting tired of these hills flipping me off. It's really, it really grinds down on you after a while. And I'm going to be honest with you. The football game that's on right now is so incredibly boring that I just I can't even watch it anymore. It's the uh, Washington and UCLA game. It's just like watching two teams that are just so incredibly bad play football just like upsets you almost. And the funny thing, and the part that's worse is that there's nothing else to watch. That's the part that sucks. Alright, well I guess take the third tube and you're going to be good to go. I was kind of just casually, you know, fucking around here, but whatever, you know? But yeah, they're just, they're so bad. Maybe this is because I'm an Oregon fan and we beat both of those teams really bad. Yeah, you're dead! But anyways, yeah, so we're cruising. We are cruising, big time. Kind of hungry, actually. It's kind of a, a big theme with me is that I like to eat a lot, which is really weird because I'm not fat. You'd think that, you know, hey, sweet, we won. You would think that, you know, somebody being hungry all the time, you would probably envision them being fat, but I do not really classify under that. Oh my God, it's big water time. Boom, boom. Yet strangely enough, oh, if you have the frog suit, you can actually get in here. Um. Uh, I think I have a frog suit, so I'll demonstrate. Yeah, that's right. I got enough lives that I can willingly demonstrate this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Now that I can do this... Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you, the only way you can get through this is if you have a frog suit. I'm almost positive there's no other way to do it. But, yeah. So this is what you gotta do. Oh my god, there's coins everywhere! <laughs> yeah, it's really nothing that special. I'll, I'll kind of say that about it. Maybe there's another one. Awesome! Yeah, this is basically... It's gonna give you a, pretty much a free life, almost. No. Ugh. <laughs> no, you can't get it! Wow, that is really high up there. It's just not easy to get. But one way or the other, that kind of reminds me of in uh, Super Mario World when you do the first, um, the yellow switch cap, or the yellow switch level. And it's kind of like that. Just because it's filled with coins, that's kind of what I was driving at there. But uh, I find it weird that everything in this level is big besides the weird, like, spiny enemies that this guy's throwing at me. 
you would still think that, you know, this being giant land and everything, that everything would still be big. But it is not. And I believe that two is still the same size. Everywhere that you go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. I'm gonna take a drink. Oh, oh my god, that tastes so good. Nothing better than, uh... Hansen's Natural Cane Soda Cherry Vanilla Cream. I definitely ordered a full case of it, just because it really is that good. I sell it at the store that I work at, and I just wanted some extra ones, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fight one of these guys in frog form! And I'll lose that. Holy shit! <laughs> I got all the way up there! Super tight. I have never done that before. There was a P switch? Or a power P in one of these? Not like I need one or anything, but I will gladly take it. So... I'm gonna free up some space. I didn't actually need it because I already had that status, but we're going to do it anyways because I want some extra space. Bum. Uh, yeah. You think that even like the power-up icons would be bigger, just you know, for the sake of being awesome? Watch out for the ones that blink. By the way, they can change direction any time, and that can be a real pain in the ass. Oh, come on. Come on. Shoot one at me. There we go. Uh-oh. That could be bad. Come on, shoot another one. Shoot another one, I want to go up there. Or not. Oh, yeah. Alright. I actually have never been up here before, I don't think. And I think this is going to be... Oh my god, alright. This is the best day ever. Okay, so now we have... <laughs> we have the Tanuki suit, which is definitely the coolest power-up in this entire game. For the sheer purpose that you can do this! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right. You can avoid... You can avoid things with it. So it's actually like the full raccoon suit, but it... Is apparently called the Tanuki suit, I'm guessing, probably because of that. If you hold uh, down and B, then you can turn into a weird, like, Hindu statue thing that will apparently make you completely invincible for a couple of seconds, but you can't move while you're in it. It has its benefits. And we have a mini game to play. Excellent! Oh, yeah, we have a new, a new setup this time around, and I don't really... I don't really know it very well. Apparently an interception just happened. Not like it really matters, it is Washington after all, and they suck! Okay, let's do one of these. We draw ever closer to the castle. It makes me sad because there's really not that many levels in this, in this world. It's kind of depressing. There's only six. It's like the first world all over again. And we'll fight this guy, too. Don't you dare kill me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, we got another star that we don't need at all. And we'll keep it in chronological order, just because I like to do it that way. So let's go to level six. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, boy. Okay. I like how that just, it still has the animation of Mario kicking. That's just when you when you know that your game's going the right way. Cause in the other games, I mean, let's be let's be honest. It would have basically hey, everything's normal. It would have been like Mario running into that thing and it just would have you know. Oh wow. But yeah, in this level you can actually uh, change the the presentation of the world. Yeah go, it's Star power! Yeah! I do love being in star power uh, while also in um, raccoon form or tanuki form, whatever you want to call it, because he does like awesome somersaults and you can like kind of float. What the hell? What the hell was that? I was like, that was bullshit. That was ridiculous. I am so upset right now. You rat bastards. 
Can I get it? Can I get it? No, I wouldn't even... It wouldn't even mean anything to me. Ah, <sighs> okay. Time for the fortress after we do an item house. God, I hate that guy's voice. I just, I really hate him. The guy that does the Pac-10 officiating has one of the weirdest voices ever. We got pass interference on the defense! It kinda almost seemed like he would have like a southern accent almost. But that's totally not the case because he's obviously from the west. It's weird. Tan Mario, here we go. I hate this jump! God damn it. That jump, for whatever reason, is just not easy for me to deal with. I have no idea why, either. So we'll try it... Uh, ugh. Excuse me. We will try it again. Hoping to God that I can do it this time. Ah, uh, yeah! Got it. Awesome. Apparently they are just not damageable. Yes, there's a door right here. I highly encourage you go in it. P.S. This is actually the first level in this game where um, some of the mechanics from Super Mario 2 were borrowed. And in case you don't really know what I'm driving at here, um, it's one of those levels where you can go through both sides of the screen, you know what I mean. So that's definitely not a concept that uh, Nintendo had really, you know, initially had on their own. Or, well, not Nintendo, I guess. It would be more of uh, the Super Mario crew hadn't really thought of those types of physics yet until they went and borrowed it from the good old friends at Doki Doki Panic. But nonetheless, it actually makes these levels a little more dynamic in their approach. I like it. I really do. Boom, boom, boom. I think that there was like a switch up there somewhere. Oh my god. Oh. I thought it was going to be more Tanuki suit action. Because you can fly up there, and there's a bunch of coins. If that is what you want. Oh my god, I have 23 coins! It's the Enigma! I got a weird thing against the 23 Enigma. It kind of bothers me. After I watched the number 23 with Jim Carrey in it, it just, like, totally changed my outlook on the number 23 forever. Because, I mean, it, it is just a movie. But... There's a lot of things that just, like, mysteriously match up that way. I mean, after a while, you kind of start stretching for him, just because you really want to, like, have something else that... What the hell? He got transformed into a dinosaur. <laughs> I can understand why he'd be pissed. But then again, you would be so badass if you got transformed into a fucking dinosaur. I mean, let's be honest. You could just, like, completely terrorize anybody and anything. But yeah, back to the 23 thing. Um... Yeah, it's just, uh, there's definitely a lot of things that match up with that sort of, uh, with that Enigma description. But, uh, without further ado, let's just, uh, let's get, let's get back at the task at hand here. This, uh, this flying fortress ship thing is definitely not connected completely. So how it's actually staying together like this, I have absolutely no clue. Let's go up here, because I don't want to deal with those. And I like jumping on the screws. For no reason at all. I like how that flame has black in it. It's like, whenever I look at it for some reason, it reminds me of like those Kingsford charcoal, like those primer charcoals. I don't know why though. Like I have, I don't really have very much of a reasoning to think that. But then again, I don't really have a lot of reasoning for many things that I think. So get over it. Just uh, accept my my modes of thinking. You know. So, we are... <laughs> Apparently there's no tip to that flame at all. It just cuts off at the... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, that would be kind of weird if there wasn't anything on that. Oh, I hate side-scrolling levels. They take so damn long. I could have already been done with this level a long time ago, but I guess they kind of have to give it its own sense of importance because it is, it is a boss level, so... I, I understand what they're driving at. But at the same time... Oh, no. Kind of hard for me to notice that when there's nothing there. 
I think that there's a power up here somewhere. Yeah! Alright. So, with the boss of World 4 lying in the uh, innards of this tube, we will fight him next time on Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. Your host, AMF1534, or 34 as I was going to say, I guess, saying goodbye for now. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.